My name is Nick Rue. I'm a librarian at York University in Toronto, Ontario, and I'm going to give a quick presentation about the Islandor Web Archive Solution Pack. I only have a few minutes, so I will quickly cover what the module does, what areas of the web archiving lifecycle it covers, and a quick demonstration. So what is the Islandor Web Archive Solution Pack? I'll step back quickly and answer what Islandor is first. Islandor is an open source digital asset management system based on Fedora Commons, Drupal, and a host of additional application. A solution pack in Islandor parlance is a Drupal module that integrates with the main Islandor module and the Tuke library, thereby allowing users to deposit, create derivatives, and interact with a given type of object. We have solution packs for audio, video, large images, images, PDFs, page content, and now web archives. The Web Archive Solution Pack allows users to ingest and retrieve web archives through the Islandor interface. If we think about it in terms of OAIS, we give the repository a SIP, a Submission Information Package, which in the case of the Solution Pack can be a single WARC file and some descriptive metadata, and if available, a captured screenshot or a PDF. From there, the Solution Pack will create an APE and a DIP, an Archival Information Package and a Dissemination Information Package. The APE will contain the original WARC, MODS meta descriptive metadata, FITS output, file characterization or technical metadata, uh, web dissemination versions of the screenshots in the PDF, uh, JPEG and thumbnail, and derivatives of the WARC via WARC tools by Internet Archive and TIFF. Um, those derivatives are a CSV file and a filtered WARC. The CSV is a listing of all the files in a given WARC, and this allows a researcher to have a quick glance at the contents of a WARC. The filtered WARC, uh, WARC filtered, is a WARC file stripped down as much as possible to the text that is used only for search indexing and keyword searching. The DIP, or Dissemination Information Package, is a JPEG or thumbnail of the captured website if it's supplied, and download links to the WARC PDF, WARC CSV, screenshot, and along with some descriptive, uh, some rendered descriptive metadata. And then here we also provide a link to the archive site uh, that we supply in the mods form. Uh, the suggested usage here is to provide a link to the object in the local index of Wayback Machine. So we have it right here. So that's just the basic overview, and I've also been asked to address the following questions. What aspects of the Web Archiving Lifecycle module does the tool cover? What aspects of the module would you like to do and tend to build into the tool? What functionality does the tool provide that isn't reflected in the model? I'll address what it does not cover first. Uh, the tool does not cover appraisal and selection, scoping, and data capture. Uh, we allow users their own appraisal and selection, scoping, and data capture processes. So for example, locally we use Heratrix for cron-based crawls and our own bash script for one-off crawls. And what does it cover? It covers all the rest of the steps. Uh, we have storage and organization via Fedora Commons and Islandora. Uh, we have QA and analysis via our display or dissemination information package, so the visualization exposes anything that went wrong. Uh, metadata and descriptive description. Every web archive object has a mods and descriptive or a mods descriptive metadata stream. Access, use, and reuse. Each web archive object has a URI along with its derivatives. Uh, by default, WARCs are available to download. Preservation. Uh, preservation depends on the policies of the repository or institution, but in our case we have a preservation action plan for web archives and a suite of Islandora preservation modules are, that are running, so checksum, checksum, checker, fits, and premise, uh, and those cover the basic. In terms of risk management, see the above for preservation. Second question, what resources are committed to the tool's ongoing development? Uh, what are major features in the roadmap? Is the code open source? I developed the original version and transferred it to the Islandora Foundation, uh, thereby allowing for community stewardship of the project. Uh, currently, there's no official roadmap for the project, and if anybody has any ideas, comments, suggestions, or any roadmap ish ideas, 
uh, feel free to send a message to the Island Door mailing list, and that's just uh, at Google Groups slash Island Door. And yes, the code is open source. Uh, it's available under a GPL v3 license, and the canonical version of the code can be found under the Island Door organization on GitHub. Uh, third question, what is the user base for the tool? How environment specific is the tool as opposed to readily usable by other organizations? Uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, what the user base is yet. Uh, it was just very, very recent, recently released on May 2nd as part of the 7x 1.3 version of Island Dora. And given that it is an Island Dora module, it is tied to Island Dora. So you'll have to have at least a 7x 1.3 instance of Island Dora running along with the solution packs dependencies to run it. Uh, last question, what are the tool's unique features and what are its shortcomings? I think some of the unique features that are some of the unique features are that it's a part of a digital asset management system. It's the first of its kind that I'm aware of. And the utilization of work tools for keyword searching and file inventories. Uh, the shortcomings, um, it doesn't cover the entire web archiving lifecycle and I guess it's part of a digital asset management system, so that could be a plus or a con. Um, so very quick demo. Uh, first up, uh, we can have a look at, let me scroll up here, uh, a collection display or a seed. Uh, this particular page has captures from May 29th, 2014 to May 5th, 2014. And then next, we can take a quick look at an example web archive object. Um, we'll see the screenshot if it's available. Um, so this is a crawl of Wi-File, our local or our university uh, daily newspaper. Um, and then so we have the screen capture. Uh, and then we have a short description uh, that comes from the mods uh, abstract element. Uh, then any downloadable uh, data streams for the object. Uh, what collection is part of and then our full mods data, what we have available. And then we have our link to our Wayback instance. Um, and then quickly, uh, this is the default uh, mods metadata form that comes with the Web Archive Solution Pack. So you have a title, uh, you have your uh, creators, your responsibility, uh, type of resource, genre, origin information, language, description, identifiers, physical description, uh, website info, crawl info, and this is where you can put a link to the Wayback Machine, uh, and then normal subject information. And then this is a quick look at the WARC CSV data stream. So if you go back to an object and you click on the CSV, uh, you get this. Um, so you can have a quick look through what's in here. Start control Fing, look for what you're looking for. And then finally, um, a quick show of an example search result. And what I've done here is search for Leela Fernandez, uh, one of our wonderful librarians who recently retired and Wi-File ran a story uh, about her. Uh, so if you go through, uh, you can see how many times it's shown up. Uh, so it's a story that has stayed in Wi-File. And if you go back basically to the end, uh, you can see when it was first um, run. Um, so it looks like I'm out of time here, and that's it. So thank you very, very much for watching, and goodbye.